Let's just think about addiction because in biology and in psychology, frankly, it really often pays to think about the extremes first and then work our way towards more typical circumstances. And with that said, addiction, unfortunately, is very common nowadays. I just heard a statistic, in fact, that there is an 80, 80% increase in alcohol use disorder among women in the last 30 years. And yet many, many people out there, male and female alike, suffer from alcohol use disorder, also called alcoholism. And the same is also true for a lot of behavioral or what are sometimes called process addictions, things like sex addiction or video game addiction or any type of behavior that frankly is leveraging the dopamine system, but that engages this progressive narrowing of the things that bring someone pleasure such that nothing else is really salient in the way that their video games or sex or pornography or alcohol pick your substance or you know, behavior that you see out there or uh, hopefully not, but that you might suffer from an addiction to. So what's happening in addiction? But if we were to think about what's the stimulus in an addiction and what's the peak in dopamine, and then what happens after that peak, it all becomes very clear as to why addiction happens and why it's so pernicious. Cocaine causes dramatic increases in dopamine very, very fast. So they're craving that dopamine peak. What happens is they snort, smoke, or inject cocaine, and dopamine levels almost immediately go up, 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 up to a very high peak, okay? So the, the time gap between the stimulus and the dopamine is very, very short. It learns cocaine equals massive amounts of dopamine equals feeling euphoric and energetic, et cetera. And in doing that, it reinforces the whole circuit so that that short, we can even say hyper short contingency is really what the system wants. So much so that longer contingencies of say, putting in the hard work of, you know, generating a fitness program or a professional program for yourself or a, a education program, which takes not just many days, but many weeks and years. Well, none of that is going to lead to peaks in dopamine that are as high as the peak in dopamine associated with cocaine. And in addition to that, and this is very important, the higher the peak in dopamine and the faster the rise to that peak, the further below baseline the dopamine drops after the drug wears off.